you ever have a guy step up bigger than Greg Keller? Uh, you know, right off the top of my head, I can't think of I can't think of one. What a great opportunity for a senior to do that, you know. And uh, Greg knew the circumstances that we were in. If we have any hope of of trying to get through this loser's bracket here now and get to a championship game that we needed a, an outing out of him, you know, whether it be seven innings, eight innings, and, you know, in this case it was nine. We needed to go deep into that game because, you know, we got to play three more games to, right. to get this thing done, so we got a lot of, we got a lot of things to do. What a, I'm very pleased with him. Greg's one of those kids that's very quiet, goes about his business. He's a very conscientious kid. You know, came back from arm surgery a couple of years ago, so this will be one he remembers for a long time. This situation, uh, did you sense he was getting stronger as the game went on, or maybe frustrating them as the game went on? You know, I liked about the third inning, I liked his presence on the mound. It was just a different look that I've seen from him all year. And that's, normally we would take him out after eight innings, and even though we scored a run, in the ninth to kind of you know create a little larger uh, gap there for us. We were staying with him, and it wasn't because we had a game tonight. Possibly, it was because he had that look. He had that look like, hey, I'm in the zone. I'm gonna throw strikes. I got three pitches for strikes. I get these guys out. It's really neat when pitcher has that look. He had that look. Tonight. We'll talk about uh, starting Clay Kuhn today and his uh, contribution. Well, you know, Clay's, again, one of those seniors, doesn't say too much, you know, goes about his business. He had a great at-bat down at Iowa. He had a pretty good at-bat here on Saturday against Missouri State. And he had a great at-bat against a good pitcher last night. We've been struggling for some offense out of our left fielder. I said, hey, we got to go. we got to try something different today. we got to try to generate some offense. And, uh, you know, he had a bad first at-bat. He struck out, but... Really created, gave us a spark. And sometimes that's what a what a player who hasn't played much can do for you. And, and just it, it, you know, it just so happens he's a senior too. So I'm very happy for Clay too. He's a great kid. He's a good kid. He's a good worker. He's, he's had some injury issues, but today was his day. Overall, the team, you got to be happy with the way they bounced back after a long day yesterday. Yeah, we're a little sluggish to begin with at the front end, you know. And and, the, and then we got. I knew it was just going to take something to get him sparked, you know. And, and we had a couple of key situations there. Alex Daly's big two out base hit, you know, really opened a, opened a, a three run lead for us. And, and then we really started to play well. We made some good defensive plays. Mike Gerber over the shoulder catch in center field. That's what we're capable of doing. But you're not sure if that team's going to show up coming off of what they experienced last night. They were, they were hurt last night. They, they really fully expected to, to win that game. This team has grown to expect to win every time they go on the field. So that one knocked them on the deal. They were sluggish to start, but because of Greg's doing good work, he kept us in the game until they, until they were able to shake some of that stuff off. Thanks, Coach. Brandon tonight. Brandon tonight. Yes. Number nine. Did you get nine out of you? <laughs> we got a rested bullpen. <laughs>